Okay, so we completed the uh, the new crankshaft configuration. It's just a rough fit at this point. Uh, basically, uh, the problem in the past was is the run out on the shaft was so so bad that uh, it was just unusable. So uh, we learned how to uh, drill a more perpendicular hole. There's still a little bit of wobble in the center shaft, but it doesn't really affect the uh, the run out on the end of the shaft too bad. So. Uh, and also if we uh, take the time on the final installation to uh, align the lobes, that will reduce the, uh, the wobble in the center as well. But uh, hoping it to be functional at this point. But it's uh, low friction uh, at this time. And uh, we... Uh, Decrease the length of the displacer, and we're getting uh, good displacement. Uh, the steel wool is uh, fine on the top, coarse on the bottom, and uh, you can feel it uh, displace a lot of air with uh, low friction. So that in combination with uh, the new crankshaft but, uh, and uh, the power diaphragm, and uh, that should uh, remove any resistance from there as well. Basically, as the weight falls on the uh, flywheel, it'll assist in uh, removing the uh, the outward pressure from the uh, power diaphragm. So hopefully that'll neutralize that effect and uh, have a functioning unit. So, at this time, point in time, uh, we're proceeding with uh, completing the fabrication. We'll reassemble the whole thing and uh, give it another test. Thanks for watching. Cheers.